In this video, we're putting the top 6 AI chatbots head-to-head -head in a battle royale. We'll be comparing their features and capabilities to see which one comes out on top. Before we start comparing, let us look at how they can be accessed from your laptop first. Here you can see this is ChatGPT. This is the URL for that. We are in ChatGPT. Similarly, we have Bing Chat here, Bing.com. Click on that. We'll be taken to Bing Chat. Then we have Perplexity AI. Click on that. We will be taken to Perplexity AI. Then we have Claude 2, which is Claude.ai. We are taken to Claude AI. Next is Google Bot, which is bot.google.com. Click on that. We are in Bot. Next is heypy.com. Click on that. We will be taken into Pi. Now let us look at whether we need to pay or we can use them for free. Good news is that ChatGPT, Bing Chat, Perplexity AI, Google Bard, Cloud2, and PI all have a free version that we can use. We have ChatGPT Plus that is costing $1.20 per month. Then we have Bing Chat for enterprise customers, which is $5 per month per user. Then we have Perplexity AI. It has two paid version offers. One is $1.20 per month, and the other one is $1.200 per year. Cloud2, Google Bard, PI from Inflection AI have no paid versions as of now. Next, let us examine their language model. All these chatbots use an AI language model that is trained on large amounts of text data to understand and generate natural language. The free version of ChatGPT uses GPT 3.5 and the paid version uses GPT 4. Bing Chat and Perplexity use OpenAI's GPT-4 under the cover. Cloud2 uses its own proprietary model, which is Jurassic 1. Similarly, Googlebot uses its own Pathways language model 2, shortly called as Palm2. PI uses its own proprietary model known as Inflection1. Now, let us look at the prompt size limits in terms of tokens or characters. A token is simply a unit of text. AI language models use tokens to understand and process text input. The free version of chat GPT limit is 4096 tokens, but I wanted to test how much text it can process before complaining the text is too long. After trying different text lengths, I found that it accepted text up to 31,000 characters. Let us see this by looking at a specific example. Here is the word document. Let us see how many characters it has. I copied this text from the blog of Tim Ferriss. We can go to this tools and then check on this word count. We can see it has 31,000 characters approximately. 30,999, which we can consider as 31,000. Click OK here. I would like to copy entire text. We go to ChatGPT. Here we are at the prompt and I copy paste the entire thing. Hit enter. We can see that it has accepted that prompt. Now let us see, we'll go a little bit beyond the 31,000 characters limit and then see what happens. Let me go to this document, Tim Ferriss blog. We can see that this word document has 31,429 characters. This is a little bit more than the 31,000 characters that it has accepted without any issue. Let us select all of this, copy, then go back to ChatGPT. We can create a new chat session just to be clear. Then I copy paste the entire thing here and hit enter. You can see that it is throwing us a message saying the message you submitted was too long. Please reload the conversation and submit something shorter. The next is Bing chat which clearly says it has 4000 character limit. We can easily verify that by going to the Bing chat and click on this Bing chat icon. So here is the prompt and here we can see it shows 4000 characters is the limit. And suppose if we try to paste anything that is more than 4000 characters, let us see what it says. Go back here. Let us select some text and let us see how many characters is that. So we have 7479 characters. Let us try to paste this into Bing chat. We can see it has cut off the prompt. It took only the 4000 characters, though our prompt had more than 7000 characters. For perplexity AI, I had to test it with various size limits and I found that it accepted 
up to 9200 characters approximately if i went a little bit above that it started saying text is too long let us see that i have this word document and i took approximately 9200 characters from this word document i already selected that let me see how many characters is that tools word count we can see it has 9209 characters click ok on this one let me copy all this control c let us head to perplexity ai here i am let us paste that here and then hit enter it took all the prompt without giving any error message now let us start a new thread let us go back to our document this time i will select a few more characters let us see how many characters it is that tools word count so now i have 9239 characters hit ok here control c to copy all that let us go back to perplexity let us copy all that here and then click this button we can see it is saying the text pasted here it is too long and it did not accept that now coming to clog which says it has 100000 token limit which is massive and gives it the ability to devour large books as prompts of all the chatbots clog 2 has the highest limit i found by testing with various prompt lengths it accepted a prompt that had 352000 characters let us see that in action let us go to the document that has 352000 characters i took a portion of this text from atomic habits book let us check how many characters it has by going to tools word count we can see it has 352k characters that is 352627 let us select all that control a and copy control c we will go to cloud 2 and we will copy all that here i pasted the entire selection and we can notice here that as soon as we paste it turns it into an attachment bard does not mention its token limit anywhere but i tried various size prompts and found that it accepted approximately 10000 character prompt let us check this out i open this word document let me see how many characters i have in this word document i have 9915 let me select all this copy it go to google bard paste all the text here you can see all the text has been pasted here up to this letter y it has accepted all this text google bird will not give you any error if you paste more than what it can accept it just simply cuts off up to the limit that it can accept now if i try to type something here it won't accept i hit the submit button it has accepted my prompt now let us check pi from inflection ai i found that of all chatbots i tested it has the lowest limit of thousand characters let us check it out by pasting text that is little above thousand characters here i am counting the characters in the text that i highlighted so the text i highlighted has 1674 characters hit ok here press ctrl c go to pi and let us paste it here let us see what it says it clearly says here an error and it says message exceeds thousand characters so we can definitely conclude that plot 2 is clear winner in terms of token limits these chatbots were mainly developed as language models so any kind of image capabilities can be considered as bonus let us look at chat gpt as we see here it has no upload button so it does not have any image capability whatsoever we can also ask chat gpt whether it can process an image let us see what it says i'm asking it can you recognize an image you see it straight away says i don't have the capability to directly view or analyze images now let us look at bing chat as we can see bing chat has a separate button here to upload an image it says add an image let us click that one it has few options here for adding an image we can paste the link to an image with the first option or we can paste the image the second option we can upload the image from our own device third option we can take a photo also let us try the upload from this device option here i click that one and then i have an image here that i can upload and ask it to analyze so as you can see here it has lot of options for uploading the image file types we can see it has gif pjp jpg pjpeg jpeg png webp many types of formats are supported let me open this one the image has been uploaded now i will ask it to analyze the image i asked it to analyze this image here we can see the analysis from bing chat it is very detailed and very accurate 
It says, this is an interesting image that you have sent me. Seems to be related to Chrome extensions. Yes, exactly right. It is related to Chrome extensions, which are software programs that enhance the functionality of the Google Chrome browser. So it is telling about the Chrome extensions. And here it says, based on the image, I can infer that you are interested in learning about some of the best Chrome extensions available in 2023. That is exactly the image is about. It goes on to give some Chrome extension recommendations. Let us now look at Perplexity AI. Perplexity AI also cannot recognize an image. Let us find it out. Here I am in Perplexity AI. We can upload a file with this file option and it can upload a PDF file or a text file. What I would like to do is I converted an image into a PDF file and let us upload the file and then ask it to analyze that one. I will show you which file I'm going to upload here. This is the PDF file. I converted the image into a PDF file. Let me open it up. This is image. Go back to Perplexity AI. Click on the file button and we're uploading the same PDF file that has the image in it. It says it has uploaded the file. I will say analyze the uploaded file. It clearly says I apologize, but I'm unable to directly analyze the uploaded file as I cannot access the content of the file. So we can conclude from this that it cannot process or recognize an image. Let us see what Claude can do here. Claude also cannot process an image file or it cannot recognize an image file. Just like Perplexity AI, it has the option to upload a PDF file or a text file or a CSV file. Let us see what it does. Go to Claude. Here you see Add Files button. It allows us to upload PDF, text or CSV extensions. We'll try to upload the same file that we have uploaded earlier to Perplexity AI, which has an image in it. This is the same PDF file that has an image in it. It clearly says here text extraction failed for one of the uploaded files. Please try again. Now we will look at Googlebot. Googlebot can recognize an image. Let us see how well it does. Here you see I'm in Googlebot. It has a plus icon here with which we can upload the file. We'll click on the plus icon here and it tells us we can upload JPEG, PNG, WebP format files. Let me click that. And here we have our PNG file. Let us open that up. Let me ask it to analyze this image file and submit. So here it says, sorry, I can't help with images of people yet. Now let us upload an image that does not have people in it. Click on the upload file, select this image. It has uploaded my image file. I will ask it to analyze it. I say analyze this image and hit submit. Let us go through the analysis. It says the image shows a person holding an iPhone in their right hand. Appears to be right. It seems to be accurate. The person is pointing at the chat app chat GPT on the phone's screen. Doesn't look that right. The text on iPhone is also visible on the screen. That is right. And it says the image was taken on so and so date. Again, here it says the image is a screenshot of the chat GPT app on an iPhone 6 plus. The app is a chatbot that allows users to interact with a virtual assistant. The app is currently available in the app store. It gives more details that may or may not be correct about this image. It goes on to say the person in the image is wearing a black shirt and jeans. Here there is nothing about the black shirt and jeans in the picture. I don't see anything. And it says the background of the image is a white wall. Probably to some extent it is correct maybe. Small reflection of the person's face in the phone's screen. I don't think so. The image is well lit and in focus. Overall, I say some things it got right and some things it got wrong. Now coming to Pi, it cannot process any images. Let me click on the Pi here. We don't see any upload button. It cannot analyze any images. Based on the image analysis for the images that we have uploaded, I found that Bing Chat is clear winner in image recognition without a doubt. Now let us look at the image creation capabilities of each chatbot. I have my prompt copied. Let us go to ChatGPT. Paste my prompt here. My prompt says, create an image of night sky with full moon. Let us submit this. It clearly says, as an AI language model, I don't have direct access to create images. Now let us look at Bing Chat. It can create an image. Let us see how it does. Here I am. 
in Bing chat. Let us paste our prompt here. Create an image of night sky with full moon and submit. We can see it has created four images. They all look good. Bing chat does a great job of taking the prompt and creating an image from it. It uses DALI behind the covers to generate images. Perplexity AI also cannot create images. Let us ask it to create an image and see what it says. I have my prompt copied. Let me place the prompt here. The prompt is create an image of night sky with full moon. Let us submit this prompt. It did not create any image, but it is saying what you can do to create an image. Cloud 2 also does not have any image creation capabilities. Let us go to Cloud, paste the prompt here, and then submit. We can see it did not create any image. It just wrote the text describing the image. Google Bard also does not have any image creation capabilities. Let us check it out. I come here. Let us paste our prompt and then hit submit. Straight away says that is not something I'm able to do yet. Pi also cannot create any images. Let us check it out. Let us paste the prompt here. It says it can create an image, but it does not create an image. It just keeps asking questions. Bing chat is the unanimous winner when it comes to image creation as the rest of them have no image creation ability at all. Now we will see which ones have web access and which ones don't. To do it, let us ask this question to each one and see whether they give correct answer. The question is who is the current CEO of Twitter? Let us go to chat GPT. I already copied the question. Let me just paste it here. Hit submit. Chat GPT data is up to date only up to September 2021. That means it doesn't have current internet knowledge. We can see it is giving the old name Jack Dorsey as CEO of Twitter. Let us bring up Bing chat and ask the same question. It gave the correct answer, meaning it has the internet access. It says according to latest information from Bing, the current CEO of Twitter is Linda Yakarino. I hit stop responding. Now let us go to perplexity AI and ask the same question and hit submit. It gave the correct answer saying that current CEO of Twitter is Linda Yakarino. Perplexity AI can browse internet. Let us ask. Claude, the same question. It tells us as of August 2023, Elon Musk is the CEO of Twitter, which is not correct. Claude does not have the internet access. Let us go to Bard and ask Google Bard the same question. Hit submit here. It says the current CEO of Twitter is Linda Yakarino, which is accurate. Google Bard has internet access. Let us go to Pi and ask the same question to Pi and hit submit. I asked the question earlier, or oh, it is saying it already told me that Linda Yakarino is the current CEO of Twitter, which is accurate. That means Pi can browse the internet. Out of all these chatbots, ChatGPT and Cloud2 does not have internet access. The rest of them can browse internet. Now let us look at supported languages. ChatGPT 3.5 supports 100 plus languages. Let us go inside ChatGPT here. But in ChatGPT, we cannot set our language. Like uh, I went to the settings here. We see general settings, data controls. There's no option to set our language. Bing Chat also supports 100 plus languages. Let us go to Bing Chat. In Bing Chat, we're able to set our language. We go to menu here and then click on the settings. Then we can set our language. Perplexity AI supports 30 plus languages in perplexity ai we also have an option to set our language let us see how we can do that going to perplexity ai let's go to the ai profile here you can see which language should the ai use here we can set the language you can see there are many options here cloud 2 is english only let us go to cloud here and i click on my profile click on the account settings there's nothing here it just supports English only for now. Google Bard can support 40 plus languages. Here I'm in Google Bard. Here we can set our language in the Google account settings. PI is English only. Let us go to PI. 
here I clicked on the three dots there is nothing here to set to our language it just supports only English from this we can conclude that ChatGPT and Bing Chat and Bard are good as they support most languages now let us look at their voice chat capabilities can they listen and talk that's what we're going to see ChatGPT 3.5 has no ability to listen or to talk once you go to ChatGPT here you can just type in your prompt but there is no microphone icon here Bing Chat has both input output options meaning it can listen and it can talk let us see how it does going to Bing Chat I'm going to click on this microphone icon here hey tell me a joke about mosquito hello this is Bing I'm glad you're in the mood for some humor here are some jokes about mosquitoes that I found what do you get when you cross a mosquito and a mountain climber nothing you can't cross a vector and a scalar how do you keep a mosquito from biting you hit it with a fly swatter why did the mosquito go to the dentist because it had a toothache what do you call a mosquito that can play the guitar a musicito how do you know if a mosquito is happy? It hums while it bites. I hope you enjoyed these jokes. Do you have a favorite one? Hope you liked Bing chat jokes about mosquito. Perplexity AI does not support voice chat. As we can see here, there is no microphone icon. Claude 2 also does not support voice chat. As we can see here, there is no microphone icon. Bard does support voice chat. It has both input and output. That means it can listen and it can talk. Let us see how it does. Here we are in Google Bard. We need to click on this microphone icon. Tell me a joke about mosquito. Then hit the submit button. It has few jokes about mosquito, but we need to hit this listen icon here. Sure. Here is a joke about mosquitoes. Why did the mosquito go to the dentist? To improve his bite. Here is another one. What is the difference between a mosquito and a fly? You can't zip your mosquito. I hope you enjoyed these jokes. How was it from Google Bard? Did Bing Chat say better jokes or did Google Bard say better jokes about mosquito? Pi supports only output, that means it can talk. Let us see how it does. I'm asking it to tell me jokes about mosquito. Hit submit. Here we have the speaker icon. I click on this one. Sure, here's a classic. What do you call a mosquito with no wings? A walk edo. I know, I know. Dad jokes are the best kind of jokes, right? How did you like the response from Pi? Bing Chat and Bard are good here. But I find Bing has a slight edge as we didn't have to press enter after giving voice prompt. Now let us look at the analyze PDF feature. ChatGPT does not support that kind of analysis. We go to ChatGPT here. We don't see any upload icon here. We not be able to upload a PDF file for analysis. Bing Chat also does not support analysis of PDF files. Here we are in Bing Chat. Here we can only add an image. We cannot upload a PDF file. Perplexity AI does have the ability to analyze a PDF file as it allows us to upload a PDF file and a text file. And it says we can upload a file up to 10 MB size. Let us see that in action. I click on this plus file icon. Here I have a file cartography.pdf that is 8.6 MB. Let us load that and see what happens. I select this file we can see it is uploading here it has uploaded it successfully i will ask it to analyze it we can see it has performed an analysis on the document and gave a brief summary it tells us the file you provided is a pdf titled cartography.pdf it appears to be a document related to cartography the science and art of map making looks good claude also has the ability to analyze a pdf file as it allows us to upload a pdf txt or csv file if we click on this upload icon here it tells us we can upload five files each 10 mb size that is huge and it accepts pdf txt csv etc let me click on this upload icon and we will select the same file that was 8.6 mb size it uploaded it i will ask it to analyze it and hit submit we can see it has performed the analysis and gave us the results here. The PDF file appears to be a newsletter issue titled Cartographic Perspectives published by the North American Cartographic Information Society in 1990 and it gives more details about it. This looks good. Google Bard does not have any PDF analysis capability as it does not allow us to load a PDF file. We can only upload file that has an extension of JPEG 
PNG or WebP. Pi also does not have that ability as it is a pure text chatbot. As we can see, there is no upload button here anywhere, meaning we cannot upload any type of file. We can easily conclude that Perplexity AI and Cloud2 did a great job of uploading the PDF file and providing us the analysis. Cloud2 has more edge as it can load five files each up to 10 MB size. Now let us check their math ability. This is going to be some fun activity. We know these are language models and may not be strong in solving math problems. Let us give a simple word problem and see how they solve it. Let us begin with ChatGPT. I have the problem, copy it and I'm going to paste it here. I'm gonna read out the problem. Joe and John are planning to paint a house together. John thinks that if he worked alone, it would take him three times more than if he worked with Joe to paint the whole house. The sentence is very key. Working together, they complete the job in 24 hours. How long would it take each of them working alone to finish the job? Let us hit submit. Let us see what chat GPT has done here. It says, let us assume that John takes J hours to paint the house alone. And it goes on to say, Joe takes 3J hours. I don't understand this one. Here it clearly says the problem statement is John thinks that if he worked alone, it would take him three times more than if he worked with Joe. I mean, the problem is saying they're working together here and then it takes three times more for John. And here it simply said Joe takes 3J hours to paint the house alone. It is not mentioned anywhere here that interpretation itself is wrong. With a very simple math, we can say that John thinks that if he worked alone, it would take him three times more than if he worked together with Joe. That means they completed the job in 24 hours. A simple multiplication will tell us how much time John will take, like three times 24, which is 72 hours. Then we need to find out how long it will take for Joe to complete the work if he paints alone. ChatGPT got both answers wrong. ChatGPT is saying John would take 32 hours and Joe would take 96 hours to paint the house alone, which is both answers are wrong. Let us see what Bing Chat is doing here. Let us call the time it takes for Joe to paint the house alone is X hours, that is fine. Then according to John, the time it takes for him to paint the house alone is 3x hours, which is wrong. The first assumption itself is wrong. The statement earlier is that John takes three times more when he worked together with Joe. It went ahead and uh, solved the problem based on the wrong assumption here. Then it got the answer, Joe can paint the house in 32 hours and John can paint the house in 96 hours, which is wrong. We know that John will take 72 hours with a simple understanding of the problem statement here. They completed together in 24 hours and then it takes him three times more than that. That means John takes 72 hours. Very straightforward answer. Here it is wrong. We can say both answers are wrong here. Bing Chad messed it up totally. Now let us go to Perplexity AI and give it the problem. I pasted the problem and hit the submit button. Let us see what it is doing. Let us assume that the whole house is painted with the same speed regardless of the area. That's fine. Let us also assume that John takes X hours to paint the house alone. Okay. According to the problem, John thinks that if he worked alone, it would take him three times more than if he worked with Joe to paint the whole house. I'm not sure how it has come up with Joe will take three X hours to paint the house alone, which is totally wrong. Once this assumption is wrong, the rest of the solution is going to be wrong. The John taking 12 hours to paint the house alone is completely <laughs> ridiculous in my opinion because when they work together, it took them 24 hours to complete the job. And if he worked alone, he can do it in 12 hours. Which is absolutely wrong. Perplexity got it horribly wrong. Now let us ask Claude. I'm here in Claude. I'm pasting my problem. Hit submit button. Okay. Let us see what it has done now. It says Joe and John are painting a house together. That's 
okay working together they finish a job in 24 hours okay john thinks if he worked alone it would take him three times longer than he worked with joe that is correct so if john worked alone it would take him three multiplied by 24 72 hours that's 100 percent right this is what i was saying earlier the first answer is very simple now let us see what it has done since john working alone takes three times longer than joe working alone this way it went wrong it already said earlier it would take him three times longer than he worked with joe and here it is saying three times longer than joe working alone which is contradicting the earlier statement then it did the calculation joe will take hours, which is wrong this has got one answer correct and the other answer is wrong now let us ask bart go to google bart i'll enter my problem here hit submit it is saying let j be the number of hours it takes for john to paint the house alone and j court will be the number of hours it takes joe to paint the house alone it says we know that j court is equal to j by 3 which is wrong this assumption itself is wrong hence it's going to get the answers also wrong it goes on to say that the final answer is 18 and 6 which is completely wrong Both the answers are wrong let us ask pi here i am in pi i'm pasting my problem here hit enter it did not solve the problem but it is asking me a question let me say yes it is keeping on asking the questions again i will say yes so it solved the problem but completely inaccurate and it is saying that it makes sense whereas it doesn't make sense it says john could paint the house in eight hours when they can do it together and take 24 hours and it is taking less time for john to paint alone than working together with joe completely incorrect both answers are incorrect i will not mention the correct answer to this problem we already know 50 percent of the answer which is john takes 72 hours to paint the house when he works alone can you solve the problem for joe and post your answer in the comment section of this video let us look at long text summarization now here we test each chatbot's ability to summarize a long text input let us start with chat gpt we found earlier that chat gpt can accept text prompt up to 31k characters and if i try to give a text that is little longer it says the text is too long let us check it out once i have this tim ferris blog that is a very long blog i pasted it into this word file let us see the character count 31 4 to 9 let me close this out let me copy this we'll go to chat gpt and give it a long text input and let us see what it does hit submit here we know it is unable to process that long text it gives an error message the message you submitted was too long now since the article is on the internet we will try to provide the url and see what chat gpt does we know chat gpt does not have access to internet this is the url i'm copying it let me paste the url here hit submit it recognized that it's a url and it says unfortunately i can't access external websites or specific content from them let us check bing chat now bing chat can summarize even if the text is more than its limit provided the text is on the internet we will go to bing chat we know that tim ferris blog is on the internet we can provide the url and ask bing chat to summarize it i am typing in here summarize blog and then i give the tim ferris blog url and i hit submit button it is doing a great job of summarizing the article we can say bing chat did a great job here now let us look at perplexity ai let me go to perplexity ai i will give the same command prompt here summarize the blog and submit it perplexity ai did a good job since it can access the internet it was able to access the tim ferris blog and be able to summarize it though the blog is very lengthy and it is greater than the text input that perplexity can accept it's able to do that since the article is residing on the internet now let us check cloud 2 we know cloud 2 has a very high limit for text input it can summarize text up to 100k token size even though it does not have internet access that is enough to be able to summarize a lengthy book first i will try to post the url and ask it to summarize and see what it does and hit submit claude says here that it cannot visit links responses may contain hallucinations that means it is making up facts what we can do is 
give a very long text input. I took a portion from Atomic Habits for Claude just to demonstrate it. Let us check the number of characters here. Tools, word count. We can see this document has 352,000 characters. I will select everything, copy it, come to Claude. It accepted the entire input and it converted into a text file. I will ask it to summarize and hit submit button. You can see Claude is working. We can see it did a great job of summarizing the entire book. Let us check Google Bard now. We know that Google Bard does have internet access. Since the blog is residing on the internet, it can summarize even if it is more than the text input it can accept. Let us ask it to summarize. Hit submit button. Google Bard did a good job of finding the article and then summarizing that article. Now let us check Pi. We know Pi can accept only 1000 characters since the blog is on the internet. Let us check what it does. I am asking Pi to summarize. Hit submit. Here we can see it was able to access the article and is able to provide a good summary of the article. Now we are checking their availability. If it is not available, then we will not be able to use it. Chat GPT is available in more than 160 countries and Bing Chat is also available in more than 169 countries. Perplexity AI is not known clearly in how many countries it is available. It's a question for the viewers. If you know in how many countries Perplexity AI is available, please put it in the comments section of this video. Cloud is only available in US and UK only, though it can be accessed via VPN from other countries. The workaround of using VPN if you are in a different country is only necessary during the initial sign up. BART is available in more than 180 countries. PI is available in US only and seems to be the least available among its competitors. After all this exhaustive comparison, we hope you are better informed in deciding which chatbot to use. And if you already have your go to chatbot, let us know which one is that and why you chose it in the comment section below. Thank you.